WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. And what are we looking at here? We're looking at the Dow down 130 points at 35,800. That high that was made at 36,565 came down sharply from the 8th of November. And yesterday I was warning that if there is a leg A that goes to a peak A and it turns down sharply, watch out for the pattern that I call the dreaded H. It's this lower, it looks visually like a lowercase h. I'll just get this right here, show you. Look, there it is. It comes down sharply, tries to rally, fails at either a peak A or a B, takes out that F side low, and that can, I call it the dreaded H, because if you take that out, you can go a lot lower. So he has the Dow in a sell signal, and I said this morning that it's upgraded to a sell mode. Here we are in the sell mode in the daily. Weekly chart, I'm calling this at least a chance of a peak D, but we've still got tomorrow, Friday, Friday at 4 o'clock, we'll discuss that. Now we can go quickly through the others. We're looking at the S&P rolling over just a little bit, but it's still stuck in the higher range. Had a high of 47.18 um, about eight sessions ago, and it's still stuck in kind of a rectangle formation. Talk about rectangle formation. Look at this. The QQQ has formed a V-shaped pattern, almost like a rectangle in, in a way. And can it go to, I'll talk about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, can it go to 401.00 to start a leg D in the daily chart? That's going to be really important. Of course, you've got uh, NVIDIA with really strong uh, action today. Let's see how it closes. Now, let's go to the IWM, the Russell 2000. Russell 2000, as I've been saying, week, week, week. Had the dreaded H pattern, took out the left side low, and today's even lower. Uh, it's still right or close to its all-time high, but pulling back very sharply in that rectangle formation I spent some time on talking about yesterday. Let's go to gold. Gold right now is down 8. Uh, it's in this consolidation phase after making a recovery high three days ago. It's the dollar we're going to be watched closely because the dollar is pulled back in leg C, maybe a peak C. It should have one more pop to the upside and then take a bit of a breather. Uh, and we'll go to crude oil. Crude oil is now down. Oh, it's turned up. It's up. What? Oh, no, that's not crude oil. That's corn. Corn is up. Uh, crude oil is up slightly, up 52 cents. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Traditions Hour and check out my opening all my dating news. Hope to see you in a few minutes. My second time station.